Hi guys, DevonTrex XYZ, and we are back playing Evil Within 2. And yeah, we just just started a little bit with chapter one, or well, we got through chapter one, but uh, not much to not much to really do in the first chapter. It was just kind of a little bit of an explanation of why Sebastian got back into STEM, mainly to try to save his daughter Lily. But Yeah, let's continue the game though. <laughs> chapter two, something not quite right. I, mean, I guess technically I start a little bit in in the chapter two. Yeah, so back in our room, I guess I want to call that the uh, safe room. But yeah, I think it pretty much, pretty much uh, everything's good for right now. So. Uh, of course, using the classic mirrors to get to different locations. <laughs> so let's see where this leads. Oh, well, in the peaceful times, I guess, in Sebastian's life. It's okay. Mom can fix it for you. She can fix anything. Hmm. That doll looks a little bit like Sebastian, doesn't it? Is it? Oh no, I'm sure he's fine. Oh, of course, just nothing more than a dream. Although... Huh, okay. Empty area filled with darkness. The only thing here is just a door. <laughs> I guess the obvious thing here is just go through the door. What the? Yeah, that's my reaction. <laughs> what in the world's going on here? Okay. And the plaque says William Baker. Huh. Oh, okay, love how it just opens up into a new room. <laughs> but yet yeah, this is STEM, so nothing really has to make sense here. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> Epic slow mo. It's almost like one of the search team. Baker. Well, at least we found one of the Mobius 
members, I guess. But a little too late. Kind of trippy. It's like a dimensional rift. Like everything is in slow mo. And of course, there's a camera here. Huh. So, obviously, someone wanted to take a picture of this. Not sure why, but they did. Need a light. Uh, Okay. Yeah, we don't have the classic lantern, we just have a standard light, I guess. <laughs> Possibly a flashlight. Oh, we got our hands on a dark room. Someone tried to block the way out. Already in. Oh, this bookcase looks a little suspicious. I wonder what's gonna happen. <laughs> Well, see, that's locked off. That looks okay. <laughs> hmm. Hello? <laughs> Shit. Who was that? Uh, crazy guy laughing. Doesn't sound good. Manuelum Roberto. Okay. Well, place is blocked off. Can't go here. Seems like a. Seems like we're in a giant apartment complex. Possibly. Oh wow! Help! Help me! Hey! Damn it! Uh, well, okay. What's going on here? Who was that? Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. Wow, this doesn't look ominous. Entering exiting cover. Yeah, so pretty much press circle when you're near an object to kind of hide yourself. I mean, kind of similar to how it was in the first game. Or, or I guess more or less kind of similar to how how it was when you played the uh, the assignment or the consequence, really. Because <laughs> actually thinking about it, Sebastian never really had an actual cover mechanic in, in his game. Moving in cover. Move alongside the corner. Corner, round corners. Okay. When you require in cover, an arrow icon will appear to display. Okay, move direction indicated using the 
the stair to round the corner without being covered. Okay. So essentially, little icon right here. Oh, guys, in closer. Just kind of going around cover so I won't be seen without breaking my cover at all. But uh, got a crazy photographer here who kills people. That's a good question. Huh, another one of these shifts. That's weird. Seriously, that is weird. Okay, well. <laughs> Seeing nothing but endless photos of gruesome things. Hmm. Let's go. <laughs> Place is giving me the creeps. Didn't. Ugh. A giant pendulum? Okay, blocked off on the third floor. Uh, huh. Oh, okay, floor. There's no floor here. <laughs> I guess I'm going here. I mean, this is the only open door. So the photographer... At least that's what I'm going to call him now, anyway. <laughs> So creepy. Whoa. Uh, what in the world is that? Christ. Hmm. calls rebirth well I guess I'm going up or down I don't know which way am I going I'm gonna guess I went down. Oh. Well, ain't that nice? Bunch of hanging corpses. <laughs> I mean, that's fun. Okay, <laughs> the wall just disappeared. That's. That's even better. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> he knows I'm here. Gotta say, not a bad photo, but. <laughs> what the hell? 
What the? Oh, hell. Okay, not good. Got a crazy demon with a buzz sawyer. Damn it, get the hell out of here. Oh, ah, run. Don't stop, just run. Okay. Good thing I have a lot of stamina. Shit. I'm trapped in here. Or maybe not. Go climb. Climb. I gotta get away from her. Damn it. What the hell is that thing? That's a good question. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, okay. Not again. Ow. That's good. No, that's bad. <laughs> if we don't hear it, that means... And of course. Run! Oh great, I'm trapped! <laughs> Break free. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess good news is I got a got a knife on me. <laughs> Obtain survival knife. Alright, well. At least luckily I can regenerate health a little bit. Yeah, so. I think this game has a little bit of quick time events. Kind of. I mean, not as. I would say it's plentiful as like Resident Evil, but it's there. <laughs> Medical syringe. Let's see. Anything else in here? Just looks like an abandoned house. That's all I'm getting out of this. Alright, there's a handgun. Where were you when I needed you? It kinda looks like the same handgun that Kidman had in the first game. Maybe this is the right place. Lily. I hope you're here. Okay. Yeah, so this is how you kind of examine clues in this game, or I guess files and stuff like that. Uh, which, kind of a similar, um, I guess kind of almost similar to how they did it in the, uh, what was that game called? Uh, that the, what was it, The Order 1886? Which, I mean, it, it, visually, that game was pretty good, but it's just gameplay-wise and story-wise, it was just dull. <laughs> Sad to say. <laughs> I don't know, but it 
Sure as hell wasn't a quaint little town. There's something bad happening in here, Kidman. Baker is dead. There's a killer running around in here, doing things that are... It's like Beacon all over again. What the fuck did you just send me into? I don't know. We're in the dark out here. Baker was the team leader. If he's dead, that doesn't bode well for the rest of them. Keep searching around. The more info you gather, the more I'll be able to help you. Yeah. Sure. Ooh, yeah, Magnum. Well, because I'm being the game once, I actually get to unlock the Magnum. Seen some wear and tear, but it's still the most powerful handgun in the world and could blow your head clean off. <laughs> Which, yeah, I guess I, at this case, I should have all my weapons right now, right? Yeah. I mean, eventually, I'll use all of these, but I guess for right now, I'll just stick to uh, what I have here. Yeah, I mean, I got, there's like five different handguns here to choose from. Let's see, of course, I got the Magnum. I got three different types of shotguns. I stick with the medical syringe. Go for a bottle inside. Got a sniper rifle. Only, yeah, only just one rifle this time around, unfortunately. I don't have any of these right now. Yeah, so I pretty much have almost every weapon. I think the only exception right now is probably the brass knuckles, which you have to beat the game on nightmare difficulty to do that. Which, um... Okay. Yes. Yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, I think the last thing I have to unlock is the brass knuckle, which um, yeah, you had to be, be nightmare difficulty. It's just a small, quiet town. <laughs> yeah. Too quiet. Well, yeah, I need to beat nightmare difficulty, but well, actually, I think I'm just gonna probably skip to ca classic difficulty after this. Which, that one's going to be a different trip on its own. <laughs> Which... Hello? Hey! She had to have heard me. Better check it out. <laughs> knock, knock. Uh, huh. Kind of getting s similar vibes from Resident Evil 7 all of a sudden. Not good. <laughs> of course, I had to drop the gun. <laughs> oh, we just encounter our first enemy, or normal enemy, I should say. Still alive, I see. I don't have any more ammo. <laughs> and we got 
five more rounds. <laughs> well, good thing I did power up my handguns. Kidman. That was fast. Did you learn anything new? Yeah, I did. I learned that it really is like Beacon in here. The people in here are turning into creatures. Damn it. What the hell happened? I don't know. But it means that Lily is in more danger than just being lost. Sebastian. Save it, Kidman. Leave it to me. I'm gonna find her. Okay, yeah, so, uh, I guess, actually, speaking of that, well, hold on. Okay, nothing on the TV. Yeah, so, I guess, speaking of that, I guess the new enemies here, well, I think they're similar to the Haunted's from the first game, but I think they, I think here they call them the Lost. I guess, like, Lost Souls, I guess, Lost uh, Minds. They've been caught up in STEM. But, I mean, either case, it's... They're bad. And actually, I think in my opinion, they're kind of more aggressive than what they were in the first game. Oh, good gunpowder. Yeah, of course, uh, in this game, there's actually a lot of things to, to collect. Well, I'm mean, not talking about, like, items or, you know, files and stuff like that. I'm talking about, like, equipment-wise. I mean, there's different types of stuff to collect, like gunpowder. They got gunpowder, you got pipes, you got batteries, stuff like that to collect in order to... In a way, kind of craft ammo. Like, that's actually one new thing you can do here, which is actually make your own ammunition for your weapons, which I think that was kind of sorely needed in the first game, considering how dry I've always been when it comes to ammunition in the first game. But uh, for right now, yeah, you can actually create your own ammo. And technically, you can actually create it on the spot. Well, there's two ways to create your ammo, really. Uh, I mean, you can create it on the spot, or you can go to workbenches. Uh, I don't. I I would recommend going to workbenches to create your ammo because it takes less resources. I mean, you can do it on the spot right here by going into the menus, and if you, well, it's not here yet. But if you go into the menus, there's like a toolkit, and I mean, you can create ammo that way. But it eats up more of your resources, like. It, like twice as much so it's kind of a trade-off really what now oh, I hear gunfire somewhere Couple more members in Mobius. Hey, it's O'Neill. Oh no. Oh, well, he's dead. <laughs> All right, ain't this kind of fun? Stealth and sneak kills. R1 to enter sneak mode. Uh, enemies are especially drawn to sound. Crouch movement can help can conceal the sounds of your footsteps. X to attack an unaware enemy from behind with a sneak kill. Uh, of course, you have her communicators, I guess. Because I'm 
unlock some new stuff here. Got my hands on a bottle, which uh, I guess the bottles are actually pretty good for drawing out enemies. And at the same time, if you if you upgrade your skills, you can actually use the bottle as a way to break free from enemy attacks. Although it's not a hundred percent guarantee, though. But Yeah, it looks like I am getting a lot more green gel this time. I mean, 1,500, I was actually not too bad considering I was kind of averaging about maybe 300, you know, for enemies. I mean, some enemies can provide green gel and some of them provide just uh, different types of uh, components, I guess. Yeah, whether it being gunpowder or whatever. <laughs> Thank God I didn't hear me break the glass of the door. Go. Break. Door. Open. Oh no, they heard me. Well, let's hope it does. <laughs> security detail. Protecting me was his job, and my job is to solve a hardware issue. Dying inside here is above my pay grade. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Soldier, just a technician. A technician, and yet they decided to send him in here. <laughs> Kind of on the same side. <laughs>
not Mobius, but they sent you in here? Why? I'm looking for my... I'm trying to restore the core. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna say looking for his daughter, but I yeah. guess the core would actually make more sense to him. I'm done. I'm just gonna hold out here until extraction. They can't extract you. Not until Lily is found. Who's Lily? Look, everyone is stuck in here until the core is located. Can you help me out? If you're asking me to go out there with you, you can forget about it. This is a safe house, so I'm staying safe. Got me? But I may have a lead on the core. I detected some signals nearby that resonated the core's frequency. We were trying to track them when we got attacked. Here, listen to this. It sounds like a little girl, right? Quiet. Was that her? The core? I think so. But I've been picking up all sorts of weird signals on my communicator since we got here. No way to know for sure until you track it to its source. How do I do that? Your communicator hmm. can pick it up too. Once you're out there, check it. You'll see. You'll probably pick up other signals while you're out there. It wouldn't hurt to follow them to find out what... No way. The core first. It's the only way we're getting out of here. Suit yourself. Let's pair up our communicators. That way I can tell you if I find anything. Yeah. Okay. Can't hurt. I guess. Okay. Chapter 3, Resonance. <laughs> uh, well, I guess let's get a little bit, jump into this for, just talk about it. <laughs> in here a week already. Has it been that long? Damn. Time's a little fluid in here. This was supposed to be a simple in and out job. Like, home in time for dinner, simple. But this is different than anything I've ever seen before. What do you mean? Wonky stuff usually happens when a core goes AWOL, but what's happening is more than that. This place is falling apart at the seams. We used the stable field emitter, but it's not working like it's supposed to. What's the stable field emitter? Mobius sent you in here. Shouldn't you know this stuff already? <laughs> well, he wasn't really briefed on anything. There were five members of your team? There was a security force already in here to help us. But yeah, there are five search team members. W wait, did you just say were? I found Baker. He's dead. Huh. Doesn't surprise me. He locked onto a powerful signal and went to investigate. I told him we should just request extraction and report our findings, leave the dangerous work to somebody else. But he wouldn't hear of it, being team leader and all. Always had to be the brave one. You ask me, there's a thin line between brave and foolish. Yeah. There's a thin line between prudent and cowardly, too. Tomato, tomato. I'm not saying I'm glad he's dead. What kind of asshole do you think I am? Uh, well, <laughs> I wouldn't want to answer that question. You'd really do that? Thanks. I'd appreciate that. Yeah, so, uh, supplies? dangerous out there than I expected. Any idea where I can get some weapons and supplies? I tried to tell you about this one signal, but you didn't want to hear it. Well, I'm all ears now. I picked something up from two Mobius security team members who were talking about weapons caches. Maybe you can follow it and get some gear. Maybe they're out there, can help you out. I'll think about it. Come on, man. I'm all alone in here. I could use some protection. Maybe if you hadn't let your last guard take the fall for you. Whatever. I'll mark the signal on your communicator. Follow it or don't follow it. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess that's my uh, start for my side mission. Yeah, and that's the thing. There are actually side missions here. Which, uh, I mean, in my case, I don't have to do it since I've already gotten the trophies for it, but I guess for the sake of it, might as well. Yeah, so, here's another safe house. I mean, you're going to be seeing a lot of these throughout the entire game. I mean, usually you find little stashes of equipment, parts, ammo, etc. And also, there's coffee makers. Which seems a little foolish, but it does help when it comes to replenishing health, anyway. Takes the edge off. Alright, so workbenches. Yeah, so in the workbench here, you have two things crafting items. 
which uh, I don't have much of it at this point, but might as well. Oh, good. I got that trophy because <laughs> I needed it. Um, I'm at least luckily some of my stuff carried over from the last playthrough, so I do have a few things. Although I don't really have much right now. Let's see if weapon upgrades go through here to actually upgrade your weapons. Which, uh, I mean, I've already did all for the handguns and for shotguns. Uh, well, just a little bit more. Well, I guess I can upgrade this. Alright, so I almost got the shotguns leveled up. <laughs> almost. I mean, hopefully I can find more parts, I'm hoping, <laughs> in a, a new game plus. Oh uh, yeah, but that's pretty much it, I think. Uh, I guess I'll just do a quick save right here and probably just call it, because... Yeah, the next part's gonna be pretty lengthy. I'll just say that. Alright. I guess that should do it for right now. Okay, well. I got through, uh... At least a... A good chunk of the beginning, anyway. And now we're heading off into the main meat of the game. Alright guys, this is Double Under XYZ, and until next time.